Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Next, we'll examine how to insert WordArt. WordArt is text that is created and formatted as if it were a shape. Therefore, you can use many of the same formatting techniques and styles that you use when formatting shapes to also modify WordArt. To insert WordArt into your publication, click the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then click the WordArt button within the text group. This will display a colorful list of WordArt choices for you to select from in a drop-down menu. You click to select the style that you like. We'll just go ahead and choose one. And that will open the Edit Word Art Text dialog box that we see here. In this dialog box, you enter the text that you want the Word Art to display in the text field. Like that. You can also select the font to use from the font drop down if you want right here. We'll leave it on Arial. Then, set a size for the font by using the Size drop-down. We'll go ahead and increase that to 40. You can also click either to bold or italicize and apply those features to the text if desired. After typing the text for the word art to display, Click the OK button to automatically insert the word art into the publication page. Now you can modify its properties by using the Format tab in the Word Art Tools Contextual tab located in the ribbon, right up here. Now most of the buttons and groups displayed on this tab are the exact same ones that you can set for shapes, so you should review the lesson on formatting shapes to learn how to format word art as well. However, there is a group at the left end of this tab called text, right over here, that's unique to word art. The buttons in this group allow you to make changes to the text displayed in word art. You can click the edit text button, first one here, to reopen the edit word art text dialog box where you can edit the text if needed. You can click the spacing button right next to it to display a drop-down menu of choices that allow you to set the amount of spacing between letters in your word art. Clicking the even height button right here allows you to make all of the letters in your word art the same height, both upper case and lowercase. Clicking the Word Art Vertical Text button toggles the letters in the Word Art between vertical and horizontal display each time that you click that button. And finally, clicking the Align Text button right here allows you to set the horizontal alignment of each line of text displayed within the Word Art. You can make any choices you want. We'll leave that on center. And you can then click out to display the word art that you've inserted into your publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.